It is 2021, and I have a question. Is the PS4 still worth it? Let's discuss that right now. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video, another tech video. So I've been really inconsistent with this, but I'm back. And now I'm not gonna keep it to Tech Tuesday, so I'm just gonna keep it tech video whenever I have a cool piece of tech or a nice piece of tech that I want to review and showcase to you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the PS4, specifically the slim version of it. So the pretty version of his older brother, the original PS4. I've had the PS4 slim for about six months now. I've had it since September for my birthday and it has been a massive lifesaver and I'm kind of glad I'm back on console. I haven't had a console in such a long time so it has been nice to have an actual console where you can play on a big screen or like a, I have a 24 inch monitor. I still believe this console, this PS4 Slim is 100% worth it right now. Even with the next gen consoles right now, like the PS5 and the Xbox Series X, the PS4 still has a place uh, in a lot of people's households especially now that you cannot really find the PS5 in stock, they really go out of stock like that and they don't come in stock very often at the moment. So PS4 Slim is a slightly smaller build than the original PS4 and it's all matte black which looks really clean and neat but it still has the same performance as a regular PS4. Overall performance of this console is great with HDMI output and with option for HDR with a great display but not 4K. You can find 4K if you have a PS4 Pro. The unboxing of this console is really, really satisfying because it really comes with almost nothing. You really get just a controller, which by the way, is one of the greatest controllers I've ever owned and feel amazing. It's just really uh, clean, very minimal, and it has just exactly what you need and it's really high performance. As well as it really comes with a HDMI cable, a power cable, the remote and the charger for the remote, the cable to charge your remote. You pretty much plug it and you're ready to go as soon as you plug so it. So I have the PS4 Slim, the 250 gig storage size, but I would recommend you to get one of this, one of the Seagate hard drive, one terabyte, at least one terabyte, because you definitely gonna need it if you're playing a lot of COD. Overall, this console has great performance and runs really smoothly on pretty much any monitor on any high quality TV. It has eight gigs of RAM and it has eight core for CPU as well, which makes it pretty much handle most high graphics games pretty well. Games that I play the most are Call of Duty and the Formula One 2020 game. Both games have pretty high graphics, they have a lot of detail, but the console still gives me all those details in a pretty decent monitor. I don't have a, an amazing monitor, but it's pretty good and overall, it's great. One of the down things of this console are the fans. They do get quite loud, especially when you boot it up, but after maybe an hour, an hour or two, it definitely you can start hearing it. If you wear one of these, like I usually do, they really don't bother you, but every time I take them off and I'm about to turn the PS4 off, you can definitely hear those fans. Have we answered the question of, is the PS4 still worth it in 2021? I will believe, yeah, yes, it is very, very worth it. Why? If you don't, if you're like me, I love tech, I love everything, but I do like being on a budget. The PS4, this one that I have, the PS4 Slim, goes for about 250 pounds, 249. You can probably get it at that price with one game already, uh, but I'm sure you can download any other games anyways. And the PS5 is going for about, I believe it's 500 pounds, maybe 600. I believe that's the current price. And it's currently not on stock. And if you see on stock, you better get it before it runs out, because I'm sure it will run out of stock pretty quick. With this PS4, you can still play most games that are out right now. Probably, like I mentioned previously, get yourself a hard drive because it does fill up pretty quick, especially if you're playing a lot of COD because we know the updates take about half of your PlayStation on its own. So I recommend you to get a hard drive. If you want a little bit more performance and you want a little bit more detail on your games and overall performance on your console, then maybe go for a PS4 Pro. I haven't had a chance of using it, but it seems to be a pretty good machine and it'll still be cheaper 
than your PS5. And that is all for me today, guys. Thank you for watching another tech video. Sorry to keep you waiting so long for one of these videos, but we're back up and running. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you're notified next time a video comes out, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the very next video. Peace.